Hi, I'm Shinsuke. If you want to get a high-level 3D model of yourself, you typically need a high-end capture system. I'm going to show you how we can do it with a single LoRa's image. Uh, we can achieve this using deep neural networks. In the high-res images, you can see a lot of pores, moles, facial hair, and specularities. There, these details are key for photorealism, and we found that certain color distribution uh, make up this photorealism. So I will show you how we, how we model this and how we, uh, how we synthesize new uh, 3D faces. One common approach would be to use linear blending, such as PCA, by assuming a facial texture lies in a linear subspace of the, of the face, uh, facial texture database. This allows us to model low-dimensional properties such as Lambertian albedo. However, as you can see, all high-frequency details are gone because their high-frequency details may not appear in the same location. So, in this work, we present a new approach to model, uh, new approach to model uh, facial texture uh, using deep neural network. So, we use pre-trained VGG19 and use it to extract a feature correlation known as gram metrics. Once we compute gram metrics uh, for our subject, uh, we can model a texture using a linear subspace of feature correlations instead of image itself. Given a new feature correlation, we can backpropagate and update texture uh, using gradient descent method. Here, I show you our reconstruction result by taking an average of feature correlations from multiple subjects, and the number of samples are shown below. Surprisingly, our reconstruction results don't lose detail even after blending more than 100 subjects. So, we are motivated by this fact, and uh, we applied this technique to photorealistic facial texture influence from a single image, where an uh, input image can be low resolution or a part of face is missing due to occlusion. The pipeline is divided into two parts. First, we fit the PCA model to obtain 3D geometry and low-frequency albedo map. For high-frequency details, we use a neural texture synthesis approach. Given the partial albedo map, we retrieve uh, feature correlations from high-quality facial texture database. And given the feature correlation, uh, we synthesize a complete texture with details on top of the low-frequency albedo map. Here, I show you the result. If we solve it using unconstrained least square, it may produce unpleasant output. So we also introduced a convex constraint. The convex constraint uh, stabilizes te uh, texture reconstruction substantially. Here, I show you our reconstruction results. As you can see, we can reconstruct uh, photorealistic facial texture uh, from the low resolution images here shown on the left side. It's also important to note that uh, we can recover details from the missing lesions due to occlusion. As a quantitative evaluation, we compare our method with light stage reconstruction, and our comparison shows that our method is comparable to light stage in terms of, in terms of photorealism. So in the poster, we provide more quantitative and qualitative evaluation and comparison. So if you are interested, uh, please come to see our poster. Thanks for your attention. Thank you.